Hello and welcome back to Sakya Trizen. We are doing surprisingly well. We're making like a ton of money, which is pretty much the best thing you can do when you're a small nation. Apparently, they did try and make some, uh, like in the patch notes, there did seem to be more potential for kind of building tall, uh, kind of upgrading your holdings a little bit more and kind of boosting yourself up in a very small nation. So maybe that's what we're going to have to be doing here. Because there isn't really a great expansion kind of possibilities for us. So we might just want to try and make our single small nation really strong, then expand through kind of power, like pushing other, like basically um, punching above our weight a little bit. That's kind of what I'm thinking. We are making a lot of money from the silk trade. Uh, let's have a look and see. There's a map mode for that. I think it's the trade zones. Yeah. I just want to see who else is making money. So we are. We're getting like, um, we're getting some here. Actually, ideally, we might want to grab that province because it is a silk, um, it is a trade post one. Maybe we want to start fabricating claims in Nepal instead. Not allied with anyone. That actually seems like a much better place to grab our, cl our claims. If we want to continue expanding into good places to get make money, getting that extra trade post would be really good. Um, but if we go back to the trade zones map mode, so we got there, there's a few in the Western Protectorate that are getting stuff. This one's got hostilities, okay. And that one reduces the effects of trade downstream. So ideally, actually, we don't want to get fighting up there because we want this line to be kind of fully connected. Although, yeah, there's kind of fighting right at the start. So I guess that means all the Silk Road from this point is kind of a little bit worse while these bits are doing really well. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So maybe we want to try and expand out northish. I'm not sure. I'm just wondering, does it kind of recover after a bit, or does it... It does look like it recovers, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, it, it's kind of like this area gets to get no money, but once you move out, it starts to make money again when it hits the coast. Interesting. Anyway, that's just me trying to wonder out exactly how it works. I'm just going to unpause, let things go. Um, I think it's about... What was that? 150 till we get our next amount? It, oh, we already have barracks. It's 350, actually. Okay. Renewed Jihad, the holy city of Jerusalem, where the prophet was taken up to heaven, has fallen to infidels. His magnificent ca uh, caliph, Asim, will not let this stand. He has declared that another era of great conquest is upon us, such as was the case in the days of the first caliphs. Um, the Dar al-Islam uh, must be defended. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of the uh, Muahadin. Is it something like that? Anyway, Muahadin. Uh, for the upcoming struggles. The signals, this signals the renewed era of Islamic uh, expansion. So, it's, yeah, okay, that's fine. I just wanted to see, so they're probably going to attack Scotland next, which is very unusual, but yeah. Uh, there is a new order uh, that come, that is under leadership of a mystic from Khorasan. We're going to ignore those for just now because there's going to be a lot of them, I imagine. Anyway. Good news, my lord. We received credible reports. Yes, there's a great white stag. It's come to my attention that Lokan of Gezir, uh, Langdarma, has bribed and threatened his way through... Okay, so he's trying to get a claim for his liege. His liege is this guy who owns this very small chieftain. He does not stand a chance. Oh, wait, no. No, that's for his liege. High chief... Wait, is that his name? That is his name. Oh, okay. I assumed high chief might be a duchy, but no, it's just a uh, tribal title. So that's fine. He's, he's used the claim, but here's the thing. He's got 700 men. We have 5,000 and ally. I was going to say allies, but I then noticed it was ally. Can we get an alliance with this guy? Nope. None of these people want alliances with us? Uh, very much no. I think is the answer. Oh, we could get an alliance with this guy, of Zia. Oh yeah, he was the one who we broke the alliance with previously. That's fine. Uh, we'll grab that. Just grabbing some alliances, actually, because it appears that quite a lot of them have kind of faded. That's fine if we can just grab them. That seems good. Yeah. That bastard. We are going to get a lot of alliances coming in here. There we go. Nice. Nice. So if we have a look at our diplomatic map mode, that's another great thing is getting all these alliances. Oh, it doesn't show alliances on it? Weird. I thought it did. Anyway. Yeah, getting all these alliances is going to be great, because we're allied with Zaya, we're allied with Pala, we're allied with a bunch of like little people all, all, all around here. That's, that's pretty good for us, because it just basically puts us in a very um, strong position defensively. Uh, Nepal, is there any kind of war we can declare? We get border dispute. I don't really want to do that, and we can't, so yeah. 
Tributary state is something we could do. I'm not really wanting a tributary state. I more want their land. How much money does he make per month? I mean, we could use this to check. Yeah, so he makes 90 per year. So we could get 20% of that. An extra 20 per year. It's not a huge increase on our balance. I'd prefer to take the land myself. Uh, somebody, by the way, reckoned that actually trade posts might get affected by your capital bonus because um, they are not like the subholdings that I was looking at previously to try and work it out. They are held by someone else, therefore they won't get your bonus, but the trade post is held by you, so you might get the bonus. See, it seems logical. I mean, it might be worth trying because there's really not a lot of negative effects to trying it. Anyway. Uh, scouring the countryside for your prey, you come upon a lone rider. As you strike up conversation, it turns out he also hunts the same great animal you're after. His lack of success thus far seems to match yours, but he invites you to talk and share experiences. Um, we could have him at our court, we could say it's better to hunt along, alone, or he, we can kill him and become cruel and paranoid. Let's uh, invite him to join at court. Um, Mang Song. There we go. The hunter. Yeah, he seems reasonable. He'd be a good commander, I think, for one of our armies. Yep, we didn't find the Great White Stag, by the way, in case you were wondering. Yep, well, we never find it. Um, there's just some tax changes being voted for by relatives of ours. Saying, is there anything we can upgrade here in this next one? that we In the place that we might become. Uh, 280 gets his barracks. That seems reasonable. Jihad for Jerusalem. There we go. Uh, there's a Jihad uh, against uh, King Duncan. Okay. So, uh, that's going to be interesting. How strong is uh, Scotland? It's got 4,000. I imagine the Jihad probably has some more people in it. Right now, it just has this guy of 5,000. So, it's actually a reasonable war for Scotland. Because they're up. Most of their land is held really far away from the war goal. Which, I mean, is bad because they're going to lose taking war score. But it's good because it means that these guys are unlikely to be able to, like... If this was their capital... And the war goal, it'd be much worse. I think that Scotland have a chance of gathering some allies and coming down here. What the hell is this? I've never seen that before. Brythonate. I have never seen this kingdom appear before. It's an adventurer-made kingdom. Alright, neat. Okay. Interesting. I've never seen that, I don't think. Unless we saw it last time we looked over there. In which case, I still didn't see it because, um, you know, I didn't notice it. Okay. Uh, if we uh, don't say yes, we will be a, a, you know, alliance breaker. That's fair enough. The Pala War to make Raja Son Pal II a tributary state. That's not you. Okay. Is it this guy? No. Is it this one? No. I'm trying to figure out who he's actually... Well, I suppose what we could do to save us some time is click on this one. And that will just tell us. Oh, he's trying to make, um, oh, Gorka here. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll accept. I'm not worried about that at all. I'm not joining in, but I'm not worried about it. Oh, I'm a little bit more worried now that I see their allies, which are the Chan Kingdom and, uh, the Guj Kingdom. Okay. So we would have to join in if we want Pala to win. I think Pala are going to lose, so I'm just going to hope that they don't siege my land, basically. I'm not really interested in this war from any kind of perspective. Them getting this land doesn't help us, and they're about to lose all their men. Yeah, so it does. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, they're about to lose all their men. Didn't go well. Okay, Emperor Zhao Zhao Zong, uh, the Chinese son of heaven, has died and been succeeded by Zhao Zhuan Zhao. Okay, so he is also believe he also believes in open China. He takes special interest in uh, Kuzmaztans and frowns on Buddhists. Ah, well, you know, I wouldn't say that's. A wholly positive for us. That's fine. Oh, we can see their he steals as well. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's not really a lot that we need to worry about here. I, I, I think that China are probably not going to attack us, would be my guess. Um, we have 280. We can build barracks in what might be our new capital. We'll, we'll kind of spread it out a little bit. It's fine. Building them there doesn't hurt anyway. And we are up like 5,000 troops, which is pretty good. Is this the best chancellor we can get? He's at 11 chancellorship. I could fire him. He's not a powerful vassal. Okay. Um, I want to search for join court, yes, high diplomacy. So we got 20 who can join our court. 
we also have a 19, who I think can, is actually valid to be a Chancellor. Um, okay. Yeah, if we really want to get these claims, then we want to bring in the 19, right? So invite him to court. There we go. Uh, I'm afraid, Mayor, you're going to be fired for the 19. He still doesn't like me. I'm going to have to send him a gift as well. Uh, and then demand his religious conversion, probably. Um, you'll still say no, because he doesn't like us a lot. Okay. Um, that's fine. We don't... We could give him an honorary title of... Poet? Is that enough? Probably not. Nah, it's not enough. Oh well, he doesn't hate us now. Go fabricate a claim. That's what we were looking for. My vassal has embraced a dangerous heresy, no doubt influenced by local preachers. So he's decided to become a Hindu. Okay. Um, we will get rid of that with our theological debate. Your penetrating gaze can part even the thickest theological fog. I'm utterly convinced by your learned arguments. Fantastic. Good. Right. Pala is getting pretty destroyed, and we are feeling unwell. We have a fever. Okay. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually comes many, and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth, and the dizziness is setting in. I don't think we're calling for help. I don't think that's us right now. We didn't die, but it's likelihood is we have rabies. Okay. Um, so he's, we were given some liquid, which was warm and sour. It will chase the other heat away. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking we don't have rabies by the fact that it did nothing. I've received regrettable news that Spymaster Shira Soulstrom's experienced a setback in the search for the artifact. Our son is not doing very well at this. He does like us a lot, though. Like, just, he actually likes us a ton. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, we now ha are fatigued as the days drag on, seemingly never ending. You can barely keep your eyes open. You have no energy at all. Sounds like me all of last week. Um, so, uh, he thinks that we are in the early stages of gout. This is our uh, second son. He insists that we follow his instructions. In order to bring balance to your humours, we made us drink salty water to induce vomiting. It was very effective. That's good. It's decent treatment, so it's only 0 0.5. So it doesn't actually get our health up that high. It is higher than it was. We're probably dead, I would imagine. And it's fair. We can just accept it. We do have gout. Okay. We're pained with hot, swollen joints which disturb our sleep. We have contracted gout. So gout is negative to health. We have positive um, one from our treasury. What do we have? Oh, we have the Colum Common Maladies book. I completely forgot about that. Because we have a negative condition. Although we're going to lose that because we're no longer fatigued. So that, that health will go away. And then decent health treatment. Um, okay. That's going to stay, I think. So, if we have a look here. We have mild illness, which is good. Uh, we do not have the artifact. Like, our artifact is not working, so we have minus one health. That's fine. Because we're brave, we can ask our son to try something, um, like, new. Um, yeah, let's, let's go brave. The powder was yellow and had a delicious scent. You were distraught to see a con shakya lodro mix it with brimstone and sprinkle it over the still tepid gallbladder of a beaver. The animal had been found rabid, frothing from the mouth, exhibiting clear signs of the illness. We fight evil with evil, master. I feel amazing. I feel better than I was before the illness by two health. I'm actually just so well. Okay. Um, our other son, our son, I did notice his fever, headache, and a rash. Okay, so he's fairly ill. Our first son is fine, but has no children. Which is a problem. But that's alright. You'll get some eventually. Okay. You have got me my claim. Fantastic. Costs a lot of gold, but we definitely want to do it. We can't declare war while bankrupt, unfortunately, so... But we have our claim. My son is not feeling himself lately. For a while now, I've noticed him looking tired and thin. I've just been informed of the cause. He has contracted syphilis. Ah. Well, that's not looking great for him. I'll, I'll tell him to heal himself. Yeah, let's hope that works. Um, the, our alliance is broken down between Mozang and me. Okay, who? why did we have an alliance? I forgot. Because we no longer have marriage ties. Did one of our daughters... Oh, our son died. Oh. He died of the great pox. Oh, that's awful. Well, we need a new court chaplain. It's going to be uh, 
talk to uh, what's that oh it's talk talk king okay she is gonna go and research cultural tech in our capital and we also need a new uh court physician who is gonna be shang long okay um we might want to try and just have like one more son as an heir so maybe we'll get a new concubine seems like an idea um, so we're just going to search for any in my realm who is a woman. There we go. And we're looking kind of down this bit. Um, an attractive lady. Right. Command religious conversion? No? Okay. Well, I'm taking her as a concubine. And we're taking her from some um, a, a noble at, someone as noble as someone. Okay. I was kind of looking to open our pain, but that's not working. Okay. If we do that, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, so Mozang the Lecture. Is that um, his daughter? And our... That's a little bit weird to have our son's widow be our concubine. Oh well, it is Crusader Kings after all. Alright, we'll take our 50 prestige and we'll go along with it. Right. Uh, we are now... We have now positive wealth. Okay, the Western Protectorate kind of changed shape a little bit, but that's fine. I do want to attack Nepal. Paul has 3,000 troops. We have 5,000. We are at war with someone else, though, so we might not be able to fully get our army together. How many do we have in these provinces? This has the vast majority of our strength. That's about... Yeah, that's about 3,600. There we go. Over here, they're probably going to be able to join as well. Okay, so that's another... That's about 4,000. We could do it. We could definitely do it. And we have like another thousand over here. Yeah, 700. I think it's possible. It's a nice... It's a, it's a good war if we could get it going. Uh, they are retreating from the Pala War. We could potentially help afterwards. I think we declare war for our claim. Oh, we also want to change what we're um, getting a claim on now. To that one. Just to get our land together a little bit more. Right, uh, I need to declare the war before raising my levies. What's this one? Oh, that's just saying that's what, what he directly controls as well. Oh, that's part of the duchy, okay. I was just seeing if he has a tributary or anything. No tributaries, he is in a war. Wait, he's already in this war? No, he's not. Oh, he's trying to attack uh, Gorka. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine then. Yeah. I've declared the war. We will call in all of our allies. A lot of them will accept, including the um, the Pala Kingdom of 7,000. Zio. Okay, oh, and there's 8,000 from uh, Ni uh, Wei Meng. Okay. Who's, who's that? Uh, oh, that, that is that, that is Zaya. Wait. Yeah. Did it not have Zaya twice? Maybe we have two allies in Zaya. That's a possibility. I may have missed that. Um, these guys are going to merge there. You're also going to merge there over in Sakya. Let's just get our armies a little bit merged up uh, before we do anything. Right. You're going to merge up and try and walk to Sakya, but you're going to have to head this way through enemy territory. Which is a little unfortunate, I understand. Right. Let's see how this works. Yes. First one said yes. As Prince. Uh, wait. Oh, that's a different way, Ming. Okay, that's fine. Oh, but he's no longer one because... Oh, right, yeah. So we did have two in Zaya. That's what. That's where my confusion lay. Okay. We have quite a few people who have joined our war. Ah. That's where they were retreating to. Oh, well. That's unfortunate. Uh, I just want to retreat. Run from the war. Run from the battle. Yeah. We are losing money. We can call this guy in again. I'm not going to. Because uh, I'm not sure what that will do. That's fine. Um, I think we're good. We are going to have about 5,000 troops anyway, no matter what happens, which is pretty good. Um, we might need to change our commanders up. Let's have a look here. Minor titles. Uh, if we go down to commanders, we have a, t a couple of 10s. We can put in our 18 here. Yeah, let's put in him. Let's make sure. So we're going to have our wife lead in the center. Okay. We'll have Mansong leading on the sides, and we will have to lead the other one. That seems reasonable. Yeah. Okay. 
There's a man need to arrest and a man I want to assassinate. We have to choose which points we want. Do we want plot power or arrest chance? Plot power, I think. I don't think there's any chance of us doing any arrests right now. Right, um, we're gonna merge up in Mangul. That's fine. And then we're gonna head directly for the war goal slash their capital. Uh, no, I think our wife leads the center. Uh, Mang Song. That just seems a little bit better to me. Yeah, the AI is on point. Everyone's heading here. Uh, we have a courtier who is a scholarly theologian. Okay, neat. Are they just going to siege something else or are they after an army? They might be after an army. We're going to siege the war goal, I think. That seems sensible. We're taking a small amount of attrition. Ooh, it's not small, actually. We're taking quite a lot of attrition. But this, uh, the supply is 5,000, so we're going to go down to 5,000 troops. Our marshal died, by the looks of it? Yeah. Uh, these two people are currently leading armies, so I guess this guy is our new marshal. And he can train troops in our capital. That's fine. Continue going. Uh, do we need a new commander? We do need a new commander. I guess he was a commander as well. We'll put in Chang Long. That's fine. He was a commander who wasn't in charge of an army. Successful jihad for Jerusalem. The greatest uh, has gained... Uh, the, sorry, the greatest has granted Caliph Asim victory for the jihad against Jerusalem against King Duncan II of Scotland. All right. So yeah, it's back. No longer under Scottish control. Well, you know, that's fine. We are going to get a mountain defense here, which means our heavy infantry is going to get a ton of defense. It seems really good for us. Are these guys Buddhist? No, they're Hindu. So in fact, we should probably grab that holy order. They're already underneath Mariul. Okay. I think we're good. Yeah. Oh, that's Pala's army. That's why it went south. Okay. Um... Why is that all... Oh, that's kind of desert seeping through. I see. I was just trying to see where our allies were. I think that might be all of our allies heading south, actually. We say to our allies... Um, we can actually control allies, can't we? Yeah, any allies who want to, please attach to me. That's fine. I'll give you orders. Um, do you want cultural tech point for 82 gold? No, because we're at war and we're losing money. This is good. They lost actually a ton of troops before they've even arrived. Okay. They're coming here on the 10th. So they have less troops than us, and we're in mountains, and we have better commanders. It is their leader versus us, though, which is pretty neat. I like it. Let's slow it down. Let's see what happens. So, yeah, our left is actually not holding out as well as I would hope. Uh, do they have... They have elephants. Oh, that's the problem. So we have more troops. We have better leaders, but they have better types of troops. So must have a lot of elephants in the left. Okay, we might get destroyed in the next phase, depending on how it goes. Yeah, it's not looking good for us. Our center is holding, but the rest is falling. They are losing a lot of morale, though. Our center is fall Like, we're falling. We didn't win that. Yeah. Uh, we do get an extra bonus. I'm going to take flanker. But we are absolutely destroyed. There's now jihad for uh, Anatola. Okay. So that's um, here, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Okay. So this is continuing to expand. That's uh, so like that. Wait, that's not Anatola. That's just who they're at war with. But I think it is that area right there. Wow. Okay. That's uh, going to be interesting. We're heading south to our allies' army, which is quite nice. Our wife died a natural death after losing a battle. Seems unlikely, but okay. We should remarry. Let's marry our concubine who's 51. That seems like it just... That just makes, uh, you know, a little bit of sense, I think. There we go. Uh, commander. I'm going to put in... Uh, not him. This has to be this one. Okay, we're heading down south. Hopefully our allies will help us with this war, because we didn't. The elephants are continually just destroying us. I think we're going to take the center now. Put, uh, I say we should put Mang Song in the center because he's a little bit better because we also took flanker. That's fine. Let's head north. We got another claim. Uh, definitely would like to use it, but I think we're just going to have to take the karma because we don't have any money. And we'd like to at least be positive. There we go. So Pala has decided to siege our war, war goal, which is very nice. It's not ideal for them. Oh, they're also sieging our capital, though. Yeah, they took our capital. That's not great. Uh, I'm going to siege this one. Oh, wait. Um, as he's growing older, I can see that uh, Vapiata 
could use some guidance in one of my experienced areas, the art of war. This is my chance to make an, an effort to for the sake of his education, but what can I offer? So I could make him brave, and I would gain stressed. I could make him um, wrath, and I would gain cruel. But no, he must learn on his own. When are you going to arrive? The 17th. We're going to stay where we are. We're going to hold out, and then on the 16th, we're going to move. It's really the only way this works. Because we need him to attack. Yes, right, now we join. They are guaranteed to be in it. We're going to arrive on the 24th. So if these, this army can, sur can survive seven days, they will get a 3,000 man basically back up. So let's see how it goes. Okay. It's going all right. They're not down yet. They are losing quickly, though. You can see their morale. You can actually see a impact in that short number of days. So, okay. You can see an impact on the other side, too, though. Okay. And then we join. Okay, so 8,000. So we have the best leader. So it's actually all of our leaders took over. So Pala's leaders must have been awful. Um, we do have elephants this time. They also have elephants. So we're even-ish there. We have some heavy cav, which is really nice. We have a lot of light cavalry. We have a flanker bonus here. We should also have the mountain defense bonus, which is quite nice. We have cruel and we have cruel and brave and hunter in the center. Okay. So I reckon what's going to happen, looking at the numbers... Well, we should just kind of win generally across the board, apart from whichever flank has more elephants. Is there a flank that has more than the rest? So they have 119, the other two. With fifth, so I think our right flank has the highest chance of winning. Yeah, although our left flank appears to be doing a lot more damage. Let's see how it goes. It's either going to win or lose us the war, basically. Oh, so this instantly, these two instantly went into that into melee mode, which I think is bad for us. Although our center looks like it might win. Our left-hand side looks like it's winning. Oh, our right flank just fell apart. Their left flank looks like it's falling. The center looks like it's even-ish. It might be a bad fight for us. We lost all three at once. Oh, my. Oh, come on. That is... Probably the best fight we could hope for, and we just lost it by a mile. Wow. Oh, that wasn't even the right war. That was the other war. <laughs> Wait, was it? No, the first time, I guess, we were attacked by this war. Oh. Oh. Well, that's that just makes things a little bit worse. Another random courtier in our court has got a thing. I just realized why we're getting all these pop-ups. Because we do not have a court tutor. We'll put it in our concubine. There we go. That's fine. Oh, this is not going well. Um, Titi uh, Fatimid, uh, the wife of uh, Raja Farid III, uh, has been spending a few days in Manguel. Sure, we'll suggest a non-aggression pact. The mercenary princess. Our daughter, uh, Mango, uh, Mangmo, has eloped, leaving her family and home behind. Oh no. Oh, she was the celibate one. Well, that's fine. I've been told she is banded up with scoundrels and criminals and formed a mercenary band, which she now leads. Really? Oh, okay. The Hounds of Mango. Oh, of uh, Mango. Wow. Okay, well, I think we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.